complimented Sayer Darty for the same amount. More prize money. And uh, it is indeed Lyric Fantasy who is leading. Sayer Darty and Poker Chip, and they're all coming down the centre of the track, anonymous fourth of the four at this stage. And it's Sayer Darty, and Sayer Darty is coming to uh, share it with Lyric Fantasy as they go through the first furlong and a half. And Sayer Darty leads from Lyric Fantasy, and then Poker Chip, and then Anonymous. They come down to the four, and Sayer Darty and Lyric Fantasy stride for stride. A length and a half back to Poker Chip, come down to the three. Anonymous isn't uh, really out of it, fourth of four at this stage. They've passed the three furlongs now, and it's Sayer Darty by uh, three parts of the length to Lyric Fantasy in second. Poker Chip tries to get the split between the two. Anonymous is in back in four on the stand side. They've passed the two now. And it's Sayadati and Lyric Fantasy is being shown the whip and Sayadati has the acceleration as they go down into the dip. Lyric Fantasy is after her. Poker Chip not disgraced in three. Now it's a furlong to go in unknown territory for Lyric Fantasy. But Sayadati has the legs of Lyric Fantasy as he races up towards the line. And Sayadati uh, takes revenge. Sayadati takes it from Lyric Fantasy who's second. Poker Chip is third and then anonymous fourth of four. And so the result then of this, the Tattersall's Chiefly Park Stakes. Well, Michael Roberts got it wrong on this occasion, choosing between Lyric Fantasy and Sayadati, but it's number four. Sayadati, the winner, in the colours of Mohamed Abida, trained here at Newmarket by Clive Britton, the five to two winner of this Group One race. Thanks, yes, all in and all out, and slowly away, Miss Tika with the white cap, and Niche is the first to break. Niche the first to go on in the Madigan's 1000 guineas from a Lyric Fantasy, close up after these for Dubai, that's Dave Flower, then Zarani Sidiana, now with the red cap, and on the outside comes Ajfan, but it's Niche and Lester Pickett who lead the guineas field through the first quarter of a mile. And Niche is being followed by Lyric Fantasy and then Ajfan with Dave Flower, Zarani Sidiana, then for France Wixon. After these comes a Falorna with Sacrage towards the outside, the back markers. Last of all, in fact, is Sayadati. And coming down towards halfway, it's over to Graham. Good. And it's still Lester on Niche leading from uh, Lyric Fantasy in second place. And then Ajfan racing wide, pushed along his uh, Zavari Sidiana. And uh, running well, Dave Flau, and I must say at this stage, Elizabeth Bay with quite a bit of racing to do there. She is second for the right of the picture, uh, being uh, pushed along on the extreme right is Stella Mystica, and they're well past the halfway stage, and it's Niche leading. Lester just looks over to see where the others are. Lyric Fantasy running a big race, so to uh, Ajvan on the left of the picture. Sayadafti after that slow start coming with a run, that's on the extreme left. Orange colours also further left is Sakraj. Elizabeth Bay with quite a bit to do, and they've passed the two. Up front, it's a wide open race. Niche still has it under Lester Pickett, but Lyric Fantasy in the yellow jacket is after her. Sayadari, the far side in blue. Sekraj in orange on the uh, stand side for Lorna tries to come with a run, but it's Sayadari and Walter Swinburne that swoop to take the race inside the final furlong. And Sayadari is going to take it up the post. Sayadari is the winner. Niche is the photo with Ajfan second and third. Then for Lorna and Dave Flower, followed by Savari Sidiana. And behind these came Lyric Fantasy. The last four were. Well, Wixon was last but one and last of all was Stella Mystica and also towards the uh, rear uh, that uh, was Star Family Friend. And so the result then of this, the Madigan's 1,000 guineas, it's gone to number seven, Sayadati, in the colours of Mohammed Obaida, trained here at Newmarket by Clive Britton, ridden by Walter Swinburne, his seventh winner of the season. Right. Race away and through the first furlong dead and Hudo with a red sash running right at wide of the rail and uh, leading that group down the far side with at uh, this stage uh, Sayadati in the dark blue colours following Elizabeth Bay who's in the Sheikh Maroon jacket and uh, Sheikh uh, Maktoum jacket that's the maroon colours King Mambo not that far away Hudo is uh, in a prominent position Sayadati but it's a uh, Hudo leading then and Hudo by length and a half to Siam in second place then showing third is uh, King Mambo. Back in fourth place now is Gold Splash, and behind that one is the grey in the striped colour ski uh, paradise with Sayadati following those on the left hand group and Rocket, the white colours on the right. They come down towards the halfway stage um, with the red sash, it's Hudo leading with Siam and King Mambo. One, two, three, the Stavros Niarchos horses with uh, just behind these Elizabeth Bay. Sayadati in the blue colours and red on the uh, left of the group. Coming with a run is Gold Splash. And at this stage, uh, Ski Paradise just uh, in front of Rocket. They're past the halfway point now. And it's all to play for with Hudo uh, still setting the pace and quickening up with uh, King Mambo coming after him now. Elizabeth Bay, the white sleeves, and on the left of the group is Sayadati followed through 
by Rocket and uh, the Grey starting to pick up his ski paradise. So inside the final quarter mile, King Mambo pressed on the outside by Sayadati. King Mambo and Sayadati as they race inside the final furlong. Here comes Ski Paradise, the Grey, with a strong run between horses, but Sayadati has the edge, racing up towards the line. Sayadati's going to let the, at the post. Sayadati just the winner from Ski Paradise and King Mambo and Elizabeth Bay. ご覧の16頭立てで行われました京杯スプリングカップです外国から5頭を迎えまして一番人気はフランスの一番のスキーパラダイス二番人気がサイエダティでしたスタートしました揃ったスタート好スタートを見せたのはミスアミーゴあるいは内の方からはゴールドマウンテン三枠の二頭が比較的いいスタート外からマザー投手も行こうとしていますさあそしてザイーテンが行くザイーテンが行ったザイーテンが行ったそして2番手外からはマイネル様子もほとんど並んでこれをかわす勢いあとはミスアミーゴ5枚3頭固まりましたスキーパラダイスは先頭から4馬身の位置で4番手外並んでいくマザー東照ですあとその内,内からは4番のケイウーマンもつけていますさらに外を回ってこの辺りは混戦になっていますが赤い帽子ゴールドマウンテンはこの辺りまで下がってしまいました外目をついてピンクの帽子雪見酒なども追走しています中段ですさあそしてドルフィンストリートもこの集団の中におりますさあ三四コーナーの中間地点先頭はマイネリオースが後続三四馬身離してのリード二番手は岡部幸男在位点が逃げている在位点が二番手につけているその後ろからマザー投手を三番手進出スキーパラダイスを打ちてちょっと下がるような格好になった外目からピンクの帽子雪見酒あとはダーボン松永美京も外目から上がってくる構えかほとんど十四六頭が一段十六頭一段で直線勝負になるのか先頭はまだマイネリオース頑張ったマイネリオース先頭だ内ラチゾイから白い帽子外からも白い帽子さあ内とつから白い帽子が襲いかかってくる先頭はここで在位点かあるいはスキーパラダイスか一枠の二頭が踊り出たそして3番手は三番手はマザー投手をやってきたマザー投手は3番手そして左右内から当番のサイヤダティウォルタースインパーンがステッキを振るって左右内をやってくる先頭はスキーパラダイススキーパラダイス上り百2番手は左右点左右内からサイヤダティが3番手から2番手並ぶ勢いだあとはドルフィンストリートもやってきた上位はみんな外国馬勝ったのはスキーパラダイス2着争いはうちサイヤダティが外2番の左右点か府中のマイルドロードに世界の力と日本のスピードがぶつかります16頭のスタート第44回安田記念ですさあマイネル様子が外から行くんでしょうかしかし真ん中を通りましてマザー東照も行ったマザー東照も行ったそして桜爆心王もその後ろに続いていっていますインコース通りまして在移転も行っているそのインからは藤山健山です外を通りまして道島無敵その真ん中からサイエダティがつけているサイエダティの外を通りましてウイニングパートナーズそしてスキーパラダイス外国馬が同じような位置固まっているその後ろからドルフィンストリートです絶景9番の北海テラスが続いていっていますその後方ですが3番の尾行アルファーがいて外目を通りまして名勝デクナムさらにはノースフライトノースフライトは後方からの競馬東和ダーリンという体勢です3コーナーのカーペット入っていきましたさあ前の方でありますけれどもマイネルヨースそして桜爆心王外を通りまして堂島無敵マザー東照日本の馬が前を固めているその後ろからは在位点岡部幸雄そして外を通りまして武豊スキーパラダイスです最終コーナーカーブして直線に向かってきた桜爆心王が先頭か桜爆心王がここで先頭に立った爆心王が先頭だ爆心王が先頭だそしてインをついて一気にドルフィンストリート来たドルフィンストリート来たドルフィンストリート外を通りましてノースバイトも上がってくるノースバイトが先頭ノースバイトが先頭そして爆心王も頑張っているスキーパラダイスはその後ろスキーパラダイスはその後ろ先頭はノースバイトノースバイト先頭です100を切ったさあドルフィンストリートが2番手から上がってきたがさあスキーパラダイスそして外を通りまして東和ダーリンも突っ込んだ勝ったのはノースフライト重賞4連勝で角田浩一が決めましたこの安田記念です<笑>さあこれは角田とそして東和ダーリン田中勝治ががっちり手を取りましたウィニングランとなりましたワンツーを決めたのは日本の馬しかも5歳牝馬です競馬でしたね。そうですね。あのノースフライトはスタートがちょっと良くなく,なくてね。はい。ちょっと後方に置かれたんですけれども、あの前半の1000メートル通過が56秒9という、えー、やっぱりハイペースになりましたんでね。爆心王もかなり粘っていたんですけれどもね。もう東大林なんかもうすごい後ろにいましてね。外からこの足毛の馬体の東和大林、いやー本当に驚きました。これが2着ですね。そうですね。ねノースライトに関しては圧勝。はい。2着争いも東和ダーリンが突っ込むという結果。
And who's going to make it? Sulbe's going to make it over on the far side. Dane on the near side. Sulbe it is from Dane. Bahrain third. Then comes Soviet nine and Nicolot. And the back marker of the six is the mayor, Seadati. And Sulb ensuring a fast pace in this Sussex Stakes. Sulb the leader from Dane in second, then towards the outside, Bari. Then Soviet line just in behind them. Behind Soviet line is Nicolot and then Seadati over on the far rail and staying there. Brett Doyle as Sulb takes them along at a very, very fast clip from Dane in second, Bari in third, Soviet line poised in behind Bari, Nicolot towards the outside, the sheepskin nose band still, the back marker is Seodati, as they turn into the straight now, and still Sulb the leader from Dane, Bari making progress towards the right of the picture is Soviet line, and then comes Nicolot, and then Seodati yet to be committed by Brett Doyle as they come down now towards the two furlong pole, it's Dane Dane from Bari, the favorite in the center. Soviet line towards the outside. Sayadati now coming to challenge Bari. It's Bari on the far side being pressed by Sayadati. Brett Boyle and Sayadati has taken the advantage now from Bari as they race into the closing stages. Sayadati on the near side. Bari on the far side as they race up towards the line. Bari is fighting back. Sayadati on the near side. Sayadati's going to win it. Sayadati is the winner and Bari is second and Dane is third. Finishing right over on the stand side and a long way behind him, Soviet line and Nicolot and last was Zulb. And so it's a photograph officially to the Sussex Stakes, but no doubt that at her third attempt, she's been the bridesmaid twice before at her third attempt. She's the bride, Sayadati, number four. She's been fourth in this race. She's been second in this race, and she's been given a great ride by her first time big race rider, Brett.